All right, joining me in studio is Governor Doug Ducey. Governor, welcome. Good to be back in studio, Mike. Um, you know, uh, when people say there's a big announcement coming, I don't normally pay attention, but this Border Strike Force announcement is a big announcement. Can you explain what this is going to do and who's involved and how it happened? So this is the American Governor's Border Strike Force. The Border Strike Force was founded in Arizona in my first year as governor in 2016, and our Arizona Border Strike Force works. We've seen the good work that Heston Silbert is doing with our county sheriffs that are on the border and local law enforcement in interdicting fentanyl, methamphetamine, and everything bad that's coming over the border. And this really came out of a Republican governor's meeting where Greg Abbott and I are sitting around the table with all the other governors across the country, and we go around and give quick updates. Governor Abbott and my update is always around the border and what we're doing. Mike, I've served under three presidents. This is by far the worst president we've had. Even Barack Obama deployed the National Guard to the border. Jerry Brown in California, under Donald Trump, deployed the National Guard to the border. Joe Biden has never even visited the southern border. And his appointed border czar, Kamala Harris, this is just another laughing matter. She's certainly not paying any attention to Arizona or Texas. So we came up with the idea of the American Governor's Border Strike Force, and this is going to be a sharing of intelligence, of law enforcement, of our fusion centers to get after these cartels and human traffickers that are wreaking havoc all over our nation. We're seeing that fentanyl is the leading cause of death among young people in southern Arizona. This is not how it's supposed to be, and it's heartbreaking to me and a majority of America's governors that this is coming over our southern border, and our federal government is ignoring the situation. They are derelict in their duty. You would think just for the politics alone that Joe Biden would be paying attention, and now they have this idea that they're going to lift Title 42. Well, this is a huge mistake. Right now, it's a, it's a crisis at the border. The good men and women that are in law enforcement that our our border agents and customs and border protection are completely overwhelmed down there. And they're Arizonans. They live in our community. They need our support, and they work for the federal government. And you saw the last time Secretary Mayorkas showed up. They turned their back on him, and a lifting of Title 42 by Secretary Mayorkas' own numbers would be 18,000 people additional a day coming over. That's 6.5 million in a year. It would be devastating. They cannot lift Title 42. Our senators have some say in the matter, and they should be more outspoken. When so what will this look like when you say that there are going to be sharing of intelligence and in law enforcement? Are we going to see law enforcement agents from other states that are non-border states in Arizona aiding Arizona law enforcement? You're going to see law enforcement agents from other states being in our fusion center, our ACTIC center, so that we have a sharing of information. We already have some law enforcement assets that are being shared on the border between Arizona and Texas. But you know this, Mike. If our entire southern border is not secure, neither is our nation. These cartels are some of the worst people in the world, but one thing they aren't are dummies. So when Arizona steps up and we put extra heat on the border, they go to New Mexico or California, where those two governors chose not to join the border strike force. That was my next question, because there are 26 governors involved, including yourself. But what about the states that said no? Was there any pushback or reasons why they didn't join? It didn't used to be that the border was a partisan issue. It used to be a federal issue and federal policy. You'd have to ask them. They just don't seem to want to put any attention on this. But now that elections are are coming up and people are in jeopardy in places like New Mexico in holding their governorship, they're trying to get tough on crime. But I don't think the people of of Arizona or New Mexico are going to buy it. What about locally? Are, Are there going to be additional assets from Arizona, or is it because we have a border strike force, those are the people utilized in this capacity? Well, it's the border strike force, but it's also the additional dollars. Traditionally, when the National Guard is called up, those those people are paid for by the federal government. It's our state dollars and our state budget that are supporting our National Guard. And every time we put an additional National Guard member on the border, and I want to thank these men and women, they've done everything under the sun over the last two years, including stocking shelves and setting up a mass vaccination site. But now they're down at the border supporting Border Patrol and Customs and Border Protection along with the Border Strike Force. It's a surge of of badges to the border. That's what we're doing in place. 
places like Arizona and Texas, and the majority of American governors are supporting it. Absolutely, and I think it's I think the the vast majority of the American people and people that are in the country legally are supporting. It's it. just common sense. I mean, we want to stop crime. We want to stop bad guys. We see the human suffering that happens with this trafficking and the humanitarian crisis. But right now, it's the cartels that are in charge of policy at the border and not the Biden administration. And they just continue to avert their eyes to the crisis that's happening at our southern border. So by having a majority of America's governors step up, having the media taking a more intensive look at it, and then just the mistake of bad policy in lifting Title 42, we've got to put all pressure possible, all resources and assets possible to protect the people of Arizona. All right, well, I want to shift in a moment. I'll take a quick break, but I want to ask you about the economy, about the budgets, uh, about the wildfires, about where we are with water. Yes, so let's. a lot of topics that are so important. Thank Governor you. Governor Ducey is with me for one more segment, so stick around. We'll get to it in just a moment.